Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Die Hard Year One graphic novel from Boom Studios. I say it's graphic novel because it's hardback. Technically, it's a trade because it came out in comic book form first, but since it's hardback, I guess I could call it a trade hardback, but normally they're called trade paperbacks. So anyway, uh, like I said, Die Hard Year One, from Boom Studios. There's the side. Comes with a nice attached cloth bookmark. You can drape around. Very nice. And with it being hardback, it has a cover protector. We're going to go ahead and take that off a minute so I can show you what the hardcover looks like. All right. Very nice police department, city of New York. It's the front, the side. Chaikin, Thompson, and Wilson. This is volume one. And Boom Studios on the back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cover here. We got John McClain. In his police uniform as a rookie. Uh, and then you've got Nakatomi Tower here with Hans uh, falling off. But as you can see here, <clears throat> this takes place in 1976. Now this may just look, look like design, but you flip it around. This takes place in 1976. One, nine, seven, six. Okay. Then you see a gun with a silencer, a revolver with a silencer, and a bleeding hand. Very nice. See John McClain here, he's bleeding a little bit. On the back, every hero starts somewhere. All right, John McClain's name is synonymous with pulse-pounding, heart-stopping action adventure. Where did it all begin? right here. More than a decade before the first Die Hard movie, John McClane's just another rookie cop, an East Coast guy earning his badge in New York City during 1976's Bicentennial Celebration. Too bad for John McClane. Nothing's ever that easy. Join McClane on his first adventure, taking on terrorists during the nation's Bicentennial on a hot New York summer day. The character that changed film forever starts here. Danger and double or danger and double crosses abound in this story by comics legend Howard Chaikin, best known as the creative mind behind American Flag. Uh, and there's some reviews there. Uh, Project Fanboy said I could sit here all day trying to find more words for brilliant. Uh, the pull box says cranks up the cl claustrophobic think on your feet, running for your life type action that fans are expecting from anything within the Die Hard franchise. And uh, Comics, Bulletin, Bo the Comics Bulletin says if you enjoyed the first movie, it's time to take a trip back to the beginning with Die Hard Year One. Okay, and the uh, inside sleeve. Uh, it's 1976 and John McClane is on the beat. The world has been blown away by the adventures of John McClane for over 20 years. Here you will see how it all began with newly minded, or newly minted rookie cop John McClane on the streets of New York in 1976. Things heat up when crime comes to the nation's bicentennial celebration. And who else but John McClane finds himself in the middle of it. And there you have about Howard Chaikin, Stephen Thompson, and Matthew Wilson. And then you should see uh, Boom Studios is located in Los Angeles, California. And visit www.boom-studios.com. Nice. We're going to leave that off for right now. Because it's just going to get in the way as we go through this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, there is a... They did take a lot from the... First, the 
first Die Hard movie to make this possible. To make it fit, I guess. But, um... It's kind of reaching a little bit. Okay? So, we start off, as you can see, there's the inside cover. Not decent artwork. Kind of resembles Bruce Willis a little bit. Not much. Anyway, Bruce, uh, John McClane has been partnered up with uh, Ken Bingham. Uh, he keeps calling him Ken, uh, but the uh, cop is like, that's Officer Bingham recruit. <laughs> he's just a lazy cop. You know, he he's sent to walk the beat for the Bicentennial celebration. Uh, but his first, the first thing he decides to do is go track down a squad car so he can get some shut-eye. Um... Then we get one of the other uh, stars of the comic, a couple dirty cops. Um, then we see the boss of those dirty cops, basically, the celebration. And then a couple rich people who uh, it's their ship that John McClane is forced to take out the terrorists on. <laughs> uh, then we meet back up with McClane and Bingham and those dirty cops. The other girl, she witnesses those cops kill him. And they discover and chase after through Bicentennial. Nice, 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 nice. I'm not going to go over every single page. But then we end up on the ship. John McClane's been brought on to handle uh, security as a plainclothes officer. Uh, but then those dirty cops come along with their boss and a couple other guys to take over the ship um, and John McClane's waiting and hiding like only John McClane can do and yeah he, he ends up he ends up handling the situation like only John can do uh, and because of that he is made detective as a rookie, which is usually unheard of. But that's the basic premises of the story. Uh, very, it's nice. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little reaching, uh, quite a bit. Um, but it is, it does, it feels like a Die Hard book. Uh, it, Feels like a cross between Die Hard and an old 1970s cop drama. Uh, you, from the art, you get that feeling of the watching a 1970s cop drama on TV. You could tell it's hot uh, in New York. Um, the colors are kind of, or the art is kind of muted. Uh, the colors are slightly muted, but it's. It's hard to explain. Um, it's got that 70s tinting to it, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, what I don't understand is in certain uh, panels, you get the comic, uh, the comic dots on it, but in most of the panels, it's solid. I don't know, it's just, it's a little weird how they did some of it. But overall, the art is good. Uh, the story is good. Like I said, it's reaching a little bit. I don't think, I don't think John McClane would have uh, made it, became a detective on his first day as a cop. 
That's a that's a little reaching. Uh, but anyway, I do recommend it for your collection. Uh, next, I'll be going over Die Hard Year One Volume Two, which takes place shortly after this. Uh, it's still his first year as a cop, uh, but it's right after he becomes a detective. So anyway, the artwork, great. The story is good. Um, and you get the feel that it's in. it takes place in the 70s. So, you can... I don't think you can find this at many comic book stores anymore. Uh, I had to order it off of... I believe Amazon is where I had to find it. And I don't even think they have it on Comixology either. Which is a shame. But yeah. I recommend it. It's a decent book. Good for the collection. Good for any diehard fan, which I am. So anyway guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a like. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and the little uh, notification bell. And I will see you again real soon. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.